this video is like my mind. Just everywhere. What's going on guys? Cerebro here for T3G. We're doing something a little special for you guys today. We have a guest reviewer. Uh, this is my fiance and uh, her name is Erica, but we're going to call her... Extended Warranty. <laughs> because she always needs one. Yes. And we're going to be reviewing a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 8 inch, uh, the 16 gig, and it is white underneath the, uh, the cover here. In true Extended Warranty fashion, I forgot something. Well, I ended up getting this for our anniversary. This was uh, my anniversary present from him, and I've been very happy with it because I, I'm, <clears throat> I like to consider myself kind of techy. I like gadgets, but I don't really know how a lot of electronics work. I like stuff that's simple. I can kind of get the basics of it, but a lot of times, if I need troubleshooting, I do need help, and if somebody shows me how to fix something, I can do it but uh, a lot of stuff is just kind of hard for me to figure out. So luckily, since I have the tech guys all around me to help, I don't have too many problems. And that was part of why I wanted to get a tablet because it's something just kind of small and easy that I could carry around that I could have fun playing with, but wouldn't be too complicated. And um, we did get the extended warranty, of course. Um, <laughs> we're pretty sure she generates some sort of field that just breaks things. Um, she's had the most problems with the Galaxy S3 that I've ever seen anyone or heard of anyone <laughs> having. Um, yeah, so. I, a lot of times, I know that sometimes the warranties, a lot of people buy them and they end up not using them. And there have been a couple things where I purchased the warranty and found out later that I didn't need it. But for the most part, I have almost always ended up using my warranty. And anytime there is an extended warranty option, I get it, whether that be a tablet or a camera or even, I drive a Prius, so I got the extended warranty on my Prius. And I had absolutely no problems with it until the warranty ran out, but it was, <laughs> it was minimal. <laughs> two, like, two, two weeks, two weeks. Yeah, two Throughout. weeks after the, the, um, the fan motor, yeah, the fan motor yes. started going out, and it's been coming on and off, but that's a whole other story. Well, yeah, so uh, the basics here, uh, like I said, we're dealing with a 16 gig, eight inch uh, Galaxy Tab. Uh, it is the fourth in the series. Uh, I used to have a, um, if you guys look back through our Instagram archives, I used to have a Tab 2 uh, 10 inch. I really liked it. Uh, I knew with the new HD screen that this does have a, a it's 12 by, it's 1280 uh, by 800, so it's the 720p, a little plus. Um, so with the HD screen, I knew she, she wanted something that looked nice. We, we took a look at a few things at Tiger that um, they had options for. Uh, there was some cheap stuff, which you've seen me review, and you know that was definitely not the way to go, especially for her. Um, so we went with something a little more, you know, brand recognizable, something with a little higher uh, track record. And um, she ended up getting this. I ended up getting the Asus, which I'll review at another time. Uh, but uh, she definitely got the better of the two uh, because the screen is so much nicer. Yeah, um, it was one of those situations where I really wanted a tablet. And had he just gone out and bought something for me, I probably would have been happy with just about anything he got. But we went and they had a huge display uh, set out at Tiger Direct where they showed all the tablets and I had a chance to kind of interact with them and play with them a little bit and see the different sizes and see the different screens side by side. And so it was very much, you could you could tell the difference between the screen on this tablet and the screens on others. I'm also more familiar with the Samsung products. I have the Samsung phone. So it was something where I felt that I would need little, like very minimum instructions on how to go forward with it. So I felt comfortable with it. And it was about $150 more than the other tablets. At so, the time, yeah. It was think, two, $250 at the time. Uh, Samsung site right now has got it for $200. Um, so that's still a higher price tag for, for an 8 inch. Uh, but it really is worth it. Yeah. And honestly, I don't use it for anything that fancy, I have a bunch of, well, what did you say? They're not called apps, they're programs on a tablet, or how does that no, work? No, on, on a tablet, they're, they're <laughs> apps. It's all applications. <laughs> application software and programs are the same exact thing, just named differently, and app, app is just short for application. So, uh, I have a number of applications. 
on this tablet. I mostly, I do a lot of Facebooking, I play a lot of Candy Crush, and the graphics are great. I feel like the candy's in my face, so I was really happy about that. The color is really crisp and clear. It's very bright. They even have a, like a, a night mode where you can dim the screen, and I found that even dimming it all the way, I still get really good picture quality on it. And um, mostly I just do other stuff. I do some check-ins with it. I use the Yelp app. I use um, a lot of Instagram and then just banking apps and just things like that. Just your everyday stuff. Nothing too crazy on it. I end up saving a lot of pictures. I like memes. And um, <laughs> I love memes. But uh, it's just, I've really, the main reason that I got it was actually because um, I do do a significant amount of traveling. I'm originally from Minnesota and a lot of times I drive up there or uh, sometimes when I get my tax return I go on a little vacation and my mother lives in California so I kind of travel around and I've gone to Europe a couple times so I wanted something that uh, was that would work like a laptop but would be a little bit more mobile. I don't always have to do a lot of work. I don't have to use a big laptop with a lot of space or a lot of power on it so I wanted something that I could just kind of grab and go and this this was a perfect option for that yeah definitely this uh, like I was saying this has the 8 inch uh, HD screen um, it has a long battery uh, with internet use the site the Samsung these are all specs off the Samsung site we'll throw those up for you guys um, the internet use time is up to 12 hours. Uh, the music playtime is 141 hours supposedly. So I would I would presume that would mean if you were to drop music onto a SD card and put it uh, on the, the actual unit itself, not streaming music because that would I think fall under internet use. Um, video playtime 10 hours. Again, I think that's not going to be something like Netflix. It'll be more along the lines of uh, dropping it onto the SD card or the internal memory, uh, and then. Yeah, up to that 12 hours. It is a um, leaking my batteries like everything else. Um, it charges pretty fast. Um, I mean, she gets a solid day out of it for the most part. Yeah, and that's that's a day if I just use it absolutely nonstop. For example, um, I, I ended up fully charging it yesterday, and I typically I usually end up using just a regular cell phone charger that has 1.2 amps. Uh, it's a five volt, and it takes about eight hours to charge. The, the tablet itself comes with a charger already and the charger has a bit more power to it so it usually charges within about three and a half to four hours I want to say uh, but since I usually use it at night I kind of just when I get home and after I finish doing everything I, I turn my tablet on I play some games browse the internet listen to some music most of the things that it's intended for and I'll do that for maybe an hour or two it might burn 20% of the battery and then I usually just turn it off or put it on sleep, uh, sleep mode mm -hmm. I'm sorry I don't know these technical terms so you'll have to bear with me here um, sleep is fine yeah <laughs> I usually put it to sleep and I can probably okay. yeah I just like you know fluff its pillow and if I do that if I if I mess around with it for like an hour or so I get I can probably get it to last about a week and so then after I've killed the battery completely, I plug it in overnight, it charges. Um, if I'm traveling, then I do try to remember to bring its actual charger because that makes it charge quickly and that's a better option. But um, you won't be able to see this, but I, uh, I'm also clumsy, which is part of why Extended Warranty is the name I'm going with here. And I ended up uh, actually bending the phone charger I was using for it at a 45 degree angle. And that's not good. And that's actually one of the few problems that I've had with the tablet, although I've noticed that I've had that with just about any phone or any type of electronic device that uses a micro uh, USB cable, is that the, what is it called? The port. The port, the USB port, um, the, is the port that comes loose? Yeah, the, the port comes loose. If you, <laughs> if you use it or move it around too much, this is what happened to me if you have a micro USB phone, it's likely happened to you. Um, it, the port comes loose, even the slightest bit, and you'll end up just getting picky with chargers at that point. Some chargers just won't work. Some chargers you gotta kind of like mine right now. My original charger that I have it, that I have for my uh, Note Three, I have to have my phone flipped upside down and the cord basically hanging off the off the phone to charge. Uh, whereas with the 
With the charger for this thing, it doesn't, which is just a standard charger. It's not even the 3.0 charger that it comes with. Yeah. So it, it, it comes loose and it, it happens really to everything. If you move it around, it, unless you leave it on a table and not touch it while it's charging, it's bound to happen. Which, um, I'm actually guilty of messing up most of the USB ports on my phone uh, because I tend to do what you're not supposed to do and play around with my phone while it's charging or messing around and moving into it and bumping into it. So that's mostly why a lot of my phones have had issues with that and haven't charged uh, correctly. The phone I have now, which is a Samsung that looks like a little version of this, the Galaxy S3, mm -hmm. right? Um, the Galaxy S3 that I have is very picky about the chargers now, and so some work and some don't, and I was very good with this tablet. When I got this tablet, I wanted, even with the warranty and everything else, I wanted to do my best to take care of this, and so I wasn't using it while it was on the charger. I wasn't messing around with it, but I ended up accidentally bumping into it and it fell, and that's how it knocked the USB port loose, but it still works, as far as I can tell, with all the chargers, so I haven't had an issue with that, it just, I'm a little, I'm worried that it could become an issue. Part of the reason that I decided to get this tablet was because it's made by Samsung, and I already have the Samsung Galaxy S3, and I've been very happy with that phone. I've Ever since I switched to smartphones, I've pretty much stayed with the Samsung family. I did once try a Windows phone and I, I had it for about three days and I wanted to chuck it against a wall and I went straight back to Samsung and I've been very happy with it. And so this particular model of the tablet looks very much like my phone and I figured it would be easy for me to navigate it and figure out everything and that I knew if I'd have any major issues with it that Cerebro or Full Throttle would have been able to help me. Um, troubleshoot things like that but I yeah <laughs> but I mainly I just I wanted something that I could pretty much just take out of the box and go and one of the other nice things about this uh, I believe you can do it with other tablets you'll be able to correct me if I'm wrong but I was able to sync this tablet to my Google account and so uh, most of the apps that I already had on my phone um, ended up syncing to this and my contacts uh, ended up being uh, synced to it and so I was kind of just ready to go. I think I just had to maybe enter a few passwords for a couple of things and that was about it. But it was pretty much take it out of the box, enter my information, charge it, go. And it was, it was good to go. And that was exactly what I was looking for. Um, the, there's been two things that I had issues with it. I wouldn't even call it an issue. There was a taskbar that was on the side of it. And so sometimes when I would press my finger a little too close to the touch screen on the side then this taskbar would pop up and it was easy to just kind of scroll it and, and tell it to go away uh, but it was getting kind of annoying and so he saw me playing with it one day and he was like oh you know why don't you get rid of that and I just uh, when I first had it I had looked into how to hide the taskbar because it's something that I could figure out on a desktop but I'm not used to having a tablet and I don't have that on my phone so it wasn't something I was used to and I ended up, you know, just ignoring it. It would pop up and make it go away, pop up, go away. And so he ended up going into some of the user settings and it even took you a while to figure out where it was. And so I didn't feel like a complete idiot. The only other thing that's kind of been an issue for me is that uh, while the screen and the buttons are set up very much like my phone, uh, some of them are changed around on the device a little. For example, uh, normally what this button does on my phone, and maybe, is there, a, well here's my question, is there a way that you can change what the buttons do on the tablet? No, so that's, that, that's the center button is designed to go home, it's usually called a home button. Um, it's designed to go home, sometimes if you have a long hold or a double press it will have other features. Um, with this model they did move around the soft keys. So at the bottom here, we've got the return key, which is in the same place yes. as it is on her phone. Um, on my old phone, it wasn't in the same place. Samsung did eventually move, I believe, all of their new phones to the right. So on the Stratosphere 2 that I had, it was on the left. So every time I would play with her phone between the two before I got the Note, it would, it would just mess me up. And when I started playing with this, um, that button on the left used to be the menu. And on my phone, it's the menu. On all the newer devices now, it's the um, the the recent apps menu, uh, which is gotten to by a long press on my on my home button. Yeah. 
That's so. how my phone works as well. Yeah, so that was really kind of the only annoying thing that I've found with this tablet so far, and it's very minimal. So uh, it's one of those things where I still do have trouble, since I don't use it all that often, I do still have trouble remembering that the buttons are different than my phone, but it, you know, it only wastes a couple of seconds of my life. I think all in all, I can agree that that's not too bad. Um, and then the other nice thing that we did about this, so the... This actually, it still has its backing on it, right? Yeah. So, the tablet has... The phone doesn't, that's why she's asking. Yeah. <laughs> Threw that out because we got her the, the book cover initially, and she loved it. Just absolutely loved it, head over heels. So, uh, when I threw everything out, I threw out the back cover too. And uh, when eventually the, the, the flip covers tend to get a little dirty and just kind of grungy. The other thing about it, the, the flip cover with the phone, there were a couple things. I, I do a lot of photos and I am guilty of doing a lot of selfies. And with the flip cover, it was oftentimes getting in the way of taking photos. It was making the phone cumbersome and hard to hold. And one of the other things is that my the screen on my phone had actually ended up cracking at one point because the flip cover does not protect the face of the phone very well and so I had dropped it at one point and it cracked it so since then I've switched covers but since I don't take the tablet out I really the only time I've taken it anywhere has been when I've gone on trips I went to California and I took it with me and I was very careful with it and so we ended up actually getting a beautiful flip cover that has a I think it's a great design it kind of folds in on itself and it has um it has magnets on it, so it ends up holding together pretty well. And so you can set up, you can set up the tablet like that, or you can set it up like that. And usually, I'm just in bed with it, and I'll end up holding it like this, or maybe holding it like this. Which I actually found has worked pretty well because I end up listening to Spotify sometimes, and with the way that the uh, speakers, are, the speakers are on the back and sometimes the sound gets lost since it's facing away from me but when I have um, when I have the stand I guess pressing up against it it tends to kind of direct it towards me a little and that is all the way up Oh, okay, so I see what it's doing. Yeah. So the, the reason that works for you is because when this is flipped back like this, it's actually in a perfect spot because this goes just over the speaker and leaves just enough space under at the bottom. You can kind of see that here. Um, that it, it just bounces straight back. So it actually kind of creates a, a speaker booster. Yep. Um, That's what I said. It's akin to one of the smart cases that uh, everyone has, everyone and their mom has for their iPad. Um, it, it just snaps around the ends. Um, it, it works really well. It works better for the Samsung than it does my Asus because the uh, micro SD card slot is on the right uh, and it's got flat edges, whereas mine kind of has uh, rounded edges and on the left side is where my micro SD card slot is. So it doesn't kind of come up all the way around. So mine is a little looser. Uh, but it, it closes, let me see here, it closes with the magnet, um, so it's better than one of the Samsung smart cases in that, like, this doesn't come down. So even if this was to fall, this is staying in place and it's this is actually padded, whereas, again, the, the Samsung smart case really isn't. Um, we ended up switching her to a, a case that has a, a bit of a lip, so even if it fell flat face down, um, it, it's falling on the case itself. And the nice thing about this too is that it ends up, what is this, so it's the fin, Finti, Finti, I don't know how you pronounce it, F-I-N-T-I-E. I, -I, -E. Oh. I think it came from China, honestly. I don't, Probably. I don't know. It was like, what, seven bucks? Something ridiculously cheap. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it wasn't more than 15. Part of the other reason we got it online is that when we went to Tiger Direct, they did have cases for this, but it seemed at the time, I think the 10 inch version of this was a little more popular, so they had more cases for that and they had more colors and when you went on the ebay page where we ended up buying it it was just kind of whatever color you could imagine you could get it in and so i was quite happy with that and um it also ends up what is this the light sensor what do you call that this oh well that's the front camera 
Oh, the front camera. But the front camera detects light, right? The the light. There is a light sensor, but that's that what you that specific spot. It's, it's the, like magic. <laughs> The, uh, the light sensor is over here somewhere. Oh. But it, it, well, actually, yeah, it yeah. actually does so, shut off the screen, which there, is nice. Yeah, so that's nice. It shuts off the screen, it, the screen goes to sleep. Uh, when you end up pulling it off, it comes back on, which I find, I just, as far as I know, there's like little wizards inside the tablet. Like, that's how I figure everything works. Just little elves cranking it out. Um, wizards with their elf slaves? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like the Keebler elves, it not, could not happen. like not like not like the Lord of the Rings elves, the Keebler. Elves. And then there's like one elf supervisor that just chain smokes, and he's like, oh, I hate my life. I hate my wife. Anyone wants to animate that? <laughs> I give you ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, well, let me, while you, while you think of that, let me uh, throw in some uh, more factoids. Well, it does, right. it, uh, yeah. Well, another factoid is that obviously, um, since it is, uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what kind of, there's a dog here. Hi, dog. Go away. Um, one of the things about it is that um, I feel like I, I want to say that I'm kind of on top of a lot of technological devices, but at the end of the day, I kind of, I come in a little late to it. Like, I know about a lot of things, but I feel like I get to them later than a lot of people, and so I'm not exactly sure what all is out there. And I usually, a lot of times when something new comes out, I end up waiting a little bit just to make sure that the glitches are kind of figured out, and I kind of wait for version 2.0 just to sort of um, ensure. Four, four. Four, four. Tab four. <laughs> but, um... I, I just, I'm a big fan of consumer reports and I do a lot of research on products before I buy something just because since I want to make sure that I'm getting something that is a little harder to break since that's something that I do and also I want to make sure that I'm getting a good value for my money and getting a decent product. The only buttons that it has are the main button on the bottom of the face and then it has the on off switch and it also has the uh, volume buttons. As far as it goes, that's, yeah, that's the only thing. And then you can plug in headphones if you want. You can plug in the charger. That's about it. Uh, it does have a camera on it, front, forward facing, and a back camera right here. I find the picture quality to be pretty good on it. Um, I think, I want to say that it's pretty high resolution, but since, since it is a smaller camera and the screen's pretty large, a lot of times I feel like the quality of the picture doesn't look as good as it does on my phone, just since the pixels are being, I guess, they're larger, right? So you could they see... They are larger. Um, I think the resolution is the same on the phone and the, the actual screen resolution. Mm -hmm. um, the camera resolution is 1.3 megapixel on the front. Um, so it is a lower uh, resolution for the front. That and that sense. is a 3 megapixel for the rear. Um, and that's, I mean, really, you're not printing those. You're not really making any kind of prints. This is a, a, a web-only device. You're not making pictures for print purposes with this, no, not this at all. particular device. I usually, I do have a digital camera, and I use that for a lot of photos. I kind of have ended up, I it's pretty good, but I've switched to my phone, as a lot of other people have, just because the, the image quality, the resolution on phones has become so good, and since it's so instantaneous, and I can just upload it to whatever, I mostly just so I'm not carrying around a cumbersome camera, I usually end up using my phone. And I do use the tablet to take some photos, but since I've found that they're not as high quality, I tend to stay away from that on this at least, but it is nice for viewing photos and seeing stuff online. You get a nice uh, big picture and the screen, you can, um, that's it. Oh, the screen does rotate. I, I almost always like to hold it like this, just because if I go like this, it tends to widen it, but then it also elongates it and it doesn't show up in the screen and that is a big pet peeve of mine. So, that's just a personal thing. I am a language nerd and so I have, since I end up talking to a lot of people in some foreign languages and I write a lot of things in foreign languages, particularly uh, he speaks Bosnian, I learned Bosnian, so a lot of times I'm writing things <laughs> I'm writing things in Bosnian and I use the keyboard for that since there are some letters with diacritic marks on them. Not to me because I am judgmental of her Bosnian. But it's okay because my grammar is better. 
She learned by the book. <laughs> I, I learned in the streets. <laughs> uh, I have a couple languages set on my keyboard already. I use the Croatian alphabet, the Serbian alphabet, I have the Polish alphabet, and I also have the Russian alphabet. So sometimes, um, the way that it's different on the tablet versus my phone is that my phone, whichever language I have it set to, it's guessing the words for that. Whereas with the tablet, for some reason, it kind of throws all the languages together and I can switch the keyboards, but even when I'm working on the English keyboard, it's giving, a lot of times I'll try and put a word in and it'll give me a Polish word or something. And so that can be, that can slow me down a little bit, but again, it's nothing that uh, you know, takes a couple seconds out of my life, I suppose I could spare. Uh, this this tab is uh, quad-core. Uh, that was one of the biggest things. She does not, she has, she has even shorter tolerance for slowness than yes. I do. Uh, and I'm pretty impatient when it comes to slow devices. So we went with a quad-core for her. Uh, with It comes with a 1.5 gigs of RAM. Um, it has a 16 gig storage and it has up to 64 gigs on the card. It's very fast and it doesn't, uh, one problem I've had with my phone is that it tends to overheat. I haven't had that issue with this tablet at all. And um, when I got, when I originally got the tablet, it was a little bit faster, just marginally faster because I didn't have all of my apps on it yet and I wasn't using it as much. But when I first got it, it was just, it was press the power button, it would just come on and you were good to go just like that but since I've been using it more and have more information on it, it takes a little bit longer to load but I mean you're talking you're talking maybe a minute total from the time I press the power button until when everything is loaded and it's connected to the internet and just completely good to go uh, it does have GPS um, so if you uh, if you preload your, your your map you know if you're at home you set out your your trip, it will still navigate for you. Uh, you. Obviously, you won't have any kind of live data unless you hook it up to your hotspot phone or something like that. Um, this particular model is not um, data enabled. I don't even believe this has a data version. Um, yeah, nothing here not seems to I indicate that it has a data version. Since I've been using it as a travel device, I've been able to hook it up at airports, and that's kind of the only time I ever use it anywhere that isn't at home. Um, so yeah, no, uh, it, it's overall, I think it's a really good device. She seems to enjoy it very much. Uh, like I said, it's definitely faster than my Asus, so she definitely got the better, uh, better tablet. Um, uh, one other thing I did see here, it does have the 1080 recording video, uh, for HD. Um, so it, it does have three megapixel for pictures, but it looks like it is recording in 1080p HD. So, um, we might we might do another video where we talk about the camera and see how good the camera is. Um, but yeah, otherwise it does come white or black. Like I said, right now it seems to be well the original MSRP was two seventy nine. It's two hundred bucks. Um, it might even be cheaper. This is directly Samsung's website. It might even be cheaper at other places like Tiger. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I can think of. Anything else you want to say? Well, this is extended warranty for T three G. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, extended warranty and Cerebro for T3G. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, much appreciate it. We just broke 10,000 views. Thank you very much. Um, we're, we're about to hit 100 subscribers. If you, if you know a few people that might dig this kind of stuff, definitely uh, share the video. Like, subscribe. Uh, make sure to watch for uh, an upcoming uh, giveaway in December, maybe two. So, again, thanks for watching. Cerebro. Extended warranty, signing off. Oh, I know, I, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, we do, we're gonna have to go back and edit this in.